Dry Land Integrated Development Initiative is a five-year project being implemented in Karamoja sub-region. The 25 US dollars project is being financed by the government of Uganda with financial support from the Islamic Development Bank and supervised by the Office of the Prime Minister. It is being implemented in the four sub-counties of Lotome in Napak, Loro in Amdat, Nanduget in Moroto, and Lorengedwat in Nablituk district. Uh, Millennium Promise in Uganda was contracted by the Office of the Prime Minister to implement, on behalf of government, the Drylands Integrated Development Project. The County Director Millennium Promise Alliance, Dr. David Surisuri, says this initiative has improved human capital development in Karamoja. You would advertise for jobs in Karamoja and you do not get you know, people applying, people responding, simply because you know, there is no pool within the community, within Karamoja region, that are available to do these jobs. You know, people usually would apply from outside of Karamoja. And the level of dedication when you are coming from outside of the region is a little bit different from when you are part of the community. And so we in Lotome sub-county in Napak district, people used to trek for over 20 kilometers in search of health services, but dryland program constructed for them, Kalalongel Health Center 3. That it is responsible for a catchment area of about five to 6,000 people. You know, those are people that were not reached out by health services. And in a month, you have 600 people come as outpatients. You know, to seek health services. You have about 30 you know, deliveries taking place in this very remote, very secluded area. Okori says the project managed to achieve 95.5% because it was community. Bursaries was really performed extremely well. And uh, from now, as we can see, and if you, uh, if you ask other leaders in Karamoja, including NGOs and the donors, the scholarships which were given to the different sectors, agriculture, veterinary, uh, financial services, and also uh, the infrastructure sector, the engineering and so on, those ones who were given training in certificates, diplomas, are the ones now being employed by most of the organizations. The project implementers say financial literacy and natural resource management yielded less fruits due to nomadic pastoralism in Karamoja. So accessing some of these areas has been a challenge. And, you know, um, taking away the animals, the very expensive animals that we have procured for the project has been a big challenge. The, the Kasakos, the cooperatives and so on. As much as we re a lot of people in the circles, the circles issue is really a basic thing which is just starting from Karamoja. And from our own intervention, and even when I was with the Cicel Commissioner, we found that only the circles of the dry lands were still remaining. Dr. David Surisuri thanked government and the donors for the support towards the viability of the project. The project has managed to construct over 200 kilometers of roads, giving out improved livestock, among others. The project ended, but there is hope for success a project. 